guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little while, I apologize for that, but today I'm going to be talking all about my current favorites. So things that I have been loving over these past like two to three months. I have some skincare beauty related items, some fashion stuff, and then also just some like random miscellaneous things. So I thought I would share them with you. So if you want to know about some things I've been loving over the past couple of months, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I have been loving, and you may be able to tell that's a little bit different, is I cut my hair off. I got my hair cut at the beginning of July, and I absolutely love it, especially because it's been really hot in Victoria recently, and like this past like month and a half have just been like pretty much a heat wave. It's been really nice to have my short hair. My hair before I got it cut was about here or so. So I got a good chunk um, cut off, but I absolutely love my short hair. It's easier and harder to deal with at the same time because this is my natural hair. I would never used to be able to wear my hair down because it used to be really puffy and just this really awkward wavy mess but it's really nice that I can wear it down with my natural hair because I don't have to stand straightening or curling my hair when it's really warm out so my hair is definitely my first favorite the first things I'm going to talk about are beauty and skincare related 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 items the first one is a concealer this is the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 15 fair I switched over from to this one from the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. I wanted something that had a little bit more coverage to it because even though that one did have a little bit of coverage on it, days that I had like a few blemishes, it wouldn't cover it like fully or to what I wanted it to be. So I switched over to this one because I had heard really good things about it and I really like it. I have been wearing less concealer recently. I really only put just a tiny bit under my eyes and then on the places that I need it. It covers really nicely, it blends really nicely, it's not super heavy, but this has been wonderful and I really like it and I recommend it to anyone that is looking for a new concealer. I definitely recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The next skincare item is a face wash. I switched from the face wash that I was using to this face wash probably at the beginning of June or halfway through June when I had ran out of my other one. I found this out through a girl named Devin and I really wanted to try a new face wash because even though I liked the one that I was using, I just wanted something that was a little bit like softer on the skin, I guess, and not as harsh because the one that I was using was to target like breakouts and stuff like that because it was like a blemish fighting face wash and I just wanted something that was just all around like an all around face wash if that makes any kind of sense at all so I switched to this one instead this is the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin I definitely have normal to oily skin and I forgot to mention that in my skincare routine that I uploaded but I get oily in my t-zone and the rest of my face is like normal skin so I started using this and I absolutely love it it's really soft on the skin really gentle on the skin it doesn't have an overpowering smell to it either which is super nice they also have one for normal to dry skin as well so if you are someone that has a little bit more on the drier side of skin there is a face wash um, they do have a face wash for that as well but I really like this I just do one pump and I rub it in to my wet face and then I rinse it off and it is great. I have noticed that my skin hasn't been as dry since using it either. Um, and it also just feels more moisturized and makes it feel clean and nice and just overall my skin just feels a lot better. Definitely recommend this. It's also from the drugstore which is great and they have a whole bunch of other stuff as well but I really really like this face wash. I have two other kind of skincare related items. Both of them are creams. The first one is a hand cream. When it comes to my hands, I am really, really bad at moisturizing them. I'll moisturize my face, I'll moisturize my legs, but I am just really bad at remembering to moisturize my hands. This one I have been using quite a bit. It is from EOS or EOS. And I keep it in my bag with me, my purse, if I go out or go anywhere, because it's really compact and small and skinny. So I just keep it in my bag, and I have been using it quite a bit. And then the other cream is this one from The Body Shop, and this is one of their Shea Body Butters, and this one's just in coconut. 
I absolutely love the Body Shop body butters because they don't leave your skin feeling like oily or greasy or slimy. They soak in really quickly and they moisturize amazingly. And this is one that I have been using and just smells like coconut. It's great. I just really like the smell of this one because it's like coconut. So it just reminds me of like the summer and the beach and chilling. But this is what I've been using it to moisturize my legs and it is amazing. That is it for kind of beauty skincare related items. Now we're going to talk a few fashion items. I only have a couple of things. The first thing is a pair of sunglasses. These are from Aldo and they have been the sunglasses I've been going to besides my aviators. They're just all black and I don't really know what kind of shape you would call these but they're just all black. I like the size of them on my face and the one thing that I really like is they're really light on my nose. They barely even rest on my nose but I've just been wearing these quite a bit because they're black and they go with literally everything. And I do find that they're a little bit more of a casual sunglasses but they can also be a little bit more of a dressy sunglass as well but these are the sunglasses that I have been reaching for for quite a while next up is a pair of shoes as you guys know I am a sneaker hoarder especially at Converse and Vans but throughout these past couple of months I've really been only wearing sandals on my feet because my feet tend to swell in the summer, so I just find wearing shoes to be kind of uncomfortable. I've been wearing sandals quite a bit, and these are the ones that I've been wearing. These are from Steve Madden, and they're just plain black, kind of strappy sandals. They just have a strap on the front and then a strap that goes around your ankle. But these have been the shoes that I've been wearing a lot because... They allow my feet to breathe, they don't get super sweaty, they don't give me blisters either, and they're just really comfortable. Another thing I like about them is this part of the the sandal, where like your arch or your foot would be, is a little bit wider. I find that some sandals, that part can be really thin, and it's just uncomfortable for me to wear on my feet. But these have been great, and I love them. Moving on to clothing, I have four pieces of clothing to share and these are have been probably my most worn these past couple of months uh so i'm first going to show you uh two shirts and then i have two pairs of pants the first shirt is this one here it is just a uh white and kind of like minty green ish v-neck t-shirt this has been one of my go-to shirts recently i just throw it on Throw on a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans and I'm literally set to go. It's super comfy, a super nice light material. The V also isn't a very deep V either, which I like because I don't really like low neck shirts. This one is great. Um, super like breathable material, light material. It's just one of those shirts that you can throw on and basically go and you know that you're going to be fine. You're not going to be super warm in it and it's just going to look great with everything. The next shirt is from Aritzia. And it is just this black kind of crop-ish tank top. I actually have this in three other colors. I have it in a gray, purple, and then a light pink, and then also the black. I bought the black first back at the beginning of July. And then because I liked it so much and wore it with quite a lot of things, I decided to get three other colors in it. But these sit really nice. They're not super cropped. They're really nice material. Um, they sit really, really nice on the body. Uh, the cut of the neck, the cut of the tank tops, and then just the length and the way that they sit is really nice. But I've been wearing these quite a bit because they're just plain. So they go with anything. Um, wear them with plain black high-waisted shorts with a few necklaces and some Converse or sandals and you are set. So this has been a go-to as well as the other colors. The next thing is shorts. More specifically, athletic shorts. I live in athletic shorts. Those are the type of shorts that I gravitate towards just because they're super, super comfy. More specifically, Lululemon ones. These are from Lululemon. They're just a pair of their, like I said, athletic shorts, and they're just in this blue, pink, orange, striped, splatter, paint-ish kind of pattern. Don't really know how you would describe it, but I've been wearing these a lot. They're super, super comfy, and the one thing I like about Lululemon shorts is they have the built-in underwear in them which is a lifesaver. But I've been wearing these a lot because they're so fun, they're so colorful, and they don't stick to my legs, they don't make me super hot. I'm not playing with them constantly, trying to pull them down. I just think they're so much fun for the summer because they're so colorful and just like a really cool and unique pattern. So, I've been loving these. I've been wearing these quite a bit. They're just plain 
black kind of businessy straight leg uh, type of pants and they are high waisted and then they go to about just above my ankles a little bit um, so they're really nice length they do have a tie that goes in the front which is right here but the last time I wore them I didn't wear them with the tie but they're super comfy they are a little bit of a heavier material but they don't make you very warm and they don't make you very hot um, so I've been wearing these a lot on days that I want to look a little bit more put together, a look a little bit more dressed up, but still on the casual side. I've worn these with sandals, I've worn them with sneakers, um, they just go with everything and they're great. They also have pockets on them, which is really nice. Moving on into the last section of this video, which is kind of random miscellaneous things, and when I say random, I mean random. The first random item is this cup. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that a few weeks ago. I posted this on my story, but this is a Hannah mug. I loved these when I was younger, and I recently found it in our, like, cup cupboard again, and I've been drinking everything out of it. Water, orange juice, anything that I can basically drink out of it, I drink out of it. But I just feel like everyone had one of these, and it's really been what I've been drinking things out of because it's just so fun, it's so colorful. I don't know, I've just been really enjoying it over these past couple of months. The next random item I can't really show you um, because it would just be too awkward for me to show you, but it is my fan. Um, I have a fan in my room, it's actually right over here. It's just a uh, like skinny, tall, standing fan. Has been a lifesaver. It's been very warm in Victoria, so I've had this on during the day. I have it on when I go to bed and it keeps my room at a really good cool temperature. I absolutely love it. It has been a lifesaver since it's been so so warm out but my fan has definitely been my favorite for June and July and going into August because apparently next week there's supposed to be a day that's it's supposed to be like 34 degrees or something. I'm not prepared for that. I'm not made for that kind of heat. Canadians are not made for that kind of heat um, but my fan has been a lifesaver. The next random items I like once again can't show you because one of them is a movie and then the other ones are songs. The movie I've been loving has been Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. I say loving even though I've only seen it once. I am a big fan of Mamma Mia. I absolutely love Mamma Mia and the soundtrack to it and when the second one came out I was very excited to go and watch it and it did not disappoint. If you are someone that likes musicals and you have seen Mamma Mia 1. I definitely recommend going see, going and seeing it because it's amazing. The soundtrack for number 2 is really, really good as well. And just the way that they filmed it and the characters in it were amazing. Um, they also kept all the main characters from the first movie the same in the second movie, which I like because I don't like when movies have like sequels to them and then the main characters in them are constantly changing. It just... it just doesn't work. But Mamma Mia 2 has been my favorite movie for since it came out, even though I've only seen it once. Mamma Mia 2 has been my favorite movie recently. And then I also have some music favorites. The first one is by Sarah Close, and it's called You Say. She came out with this a few weeks ago, and I really like it. I really like the vibe to it, and the beat to it, and just the way it flows from the beginning to the end, as well as her voice and the lyrics to it. I really like. The next song is by Macy Peters and it is called Best I'll Ever Sing. I absolutely love Macy Peters. I am so happy I found her because her voice is beautiful, the way that she writes and the way that her music sounds. All together is just like a match made in heaven. It is absolutely amazing. So I definitely recommend listening to Macy Peters. She has three other songs and they are all absolutely amazing but Best I'll Ever Sing she recently recently came out with and I am a big, big fan of. And the next music favorite isn't a song, it's an entire album, and it is Dan and Shay's new album, Dan and Shay. I am a massive country music fan, if you guys didn't know. It's basically the only thing I ever listened to, and for years I got crap about it um, because everyone was like, why are you listening to country music? It's terrible. And now the majority, if not all of my friends, listen to country music. But I love Dan and Shay. They're one of my favorite country artists, and I feel like they're very underrated. But they came out with a new album at the end of June, and I have been listening to it ever since. 
It's absolutely amazing. All the songs on it sound so good, but I've been really enjoying Dan and Shay's album. They are one of my favorite country artists, um, but I've been listening to it since it came out. So that is all of my current favorites and things that I have been loving over the past couple of months. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you are watching of mine or haven't yet already, please feel free to click that subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the bell beside it as well so that you can be notified for when I upload my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!